yesterday we were talking uh, today on family sport we are talking about sex education should we be having more conversation with conversations with our children about sex education and of course here today we have rose Mbae, who is our family coach and of course she'll be explaining this more to us hi rose hi how are you fine, fine thank, thank you. you how are you i am fine thank you yes so let's just dive into it sex education is very taboo in african households so maybe you can tell us why it's important to start talking about it. Wow, thank you so much for this opportunity. And uh, I want to say that uh, it is good to be real to mm -hmm. our children. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't talk these things to your children, trust you me, there are so many people. There is a lot of information these children get to know about sex in the world. I want to start with a disclaimer and say that don't wait until your children ask you anything to do with sex. Don't wait until your children come to ask you for anything to do with sex, because by the time they're asking, things would have gone a lot of in a bad way. What do I want to say? We need to start to talk about sex to our children as the age of four, between four and five years. From psychological view, we say between four and five years, there is what we call phallic stage. Children get to learn more about their genitals. They realize I am a boy or I am a girl. What happens at this stage? You need to be very, very candid about this, uh, this conversation. Create an environment as a so that a child can be freely be able to talk to you. There is something that African parents are used to. They rarely talk about it. They shy away. And, they, and they'll actually chase a child and say, who told you there is something like sex? No. Most of the time at this age, they don't talk a lot about sex. So as a parent, you need to address about what we call private parts. You tell them, these are your private parts, and you let them know. There is a, a penis, there is a vagina. This and this part is what we call private parts. And that is why even the teachers, some of them come with something we say, like a song. These are my private parts. Nobody should see it. Nobody should play with it or even touch them. At this stage, you need to let your child know what is an indecent touch. Reason being, there are people who are taken advantage of. Maybe playmates maybe a uh, house gas, maybe uncles, you know, what we call uncles, uh, and aunties in quotes. So we are supposed to bring to the awareness. These are your private parts. Nobody should play with it. But also you need to define something we call boundaries. You know, because at times a house girl, we need to go and uh, help the boy or a girl to clean herself. So let them know it is only so and so who, sh who can touch it, maybe when cleaning. But then let them know there is what we call indecent touch. Because so many girls, I have seen so many children, they've been abused by even house girls or even uncles. In the name of, they didn't know when, what was an, an indecent touch and decent touch. That is between four to five years. From there, you need to you need to go to the next stage. The next stage, we call it alerted stage. That is between eight to eleven years. At that point, all the genitals, all the sexual anxieties, there is not. It's alerted. We call it alerted stage. There is no sexual arousal. There is nothing to do with the feelings. You need to prepare your children for some of these changes they're about to see. What happens at this stage? You need to address. Some of the changes they expect about teenagers. Some people will tell you that uh, I, I am anxious. I don't know what happens. I hear in teenagehood, people will start loving each other. I hear in teenagehood, I'll grow breast. Now at that point, because they are no longer kids, you need to address all the body parts by word. These are called breasts. What we expect in the next stage, which is to teenagehood, is you'll have enlarged breasts. This is called a penis, and this is called, you know, you need to address every part of the private parts with the name. By this stage, there's something I, I, I missed out in the previous stage. Children of the opposite tend to love the opposite sex parent. Girls will clean more into their fathers. 
and the boys we clean more into their mothers. And remember, we said we just address what we call private part. But when it comes to this particular stage, now children tend to clean more to their same sex partners or rather same sex parents. So it is so easy for a woman to tell a fellow girl or a, or a, or a girl child, this one, we call it a vagina. You are not expected to allow exposes to anyone. You are not allowed yourself to just express from the bathroom because you need to cover your nakedness. These are called breasts. These are sexual parts, you see? It is easier for a mother to tell a girl because at this stage, now they go to the same sex parent. So it is a role of every parent, every father to tell the sons and every mother to tell the girls about the same. However, if you happen to be uh, the single mother raising this, they take up your responsibility. I know at that age, they'll try to shy away. You could have a close uncle. You could have a friend. Maybe because at times they'll shy away from you, a mother. I mean, they're just feeling that these are big men. Yeah. So it's always good to introduce them to a fellow man to address it. Yeah. And the next stage, which is the teenage food. This is the time now every hormone is at work. They want to love, they want to be loved. I mean, this is the time actually there is a lot of, there is a lot of struggles from parents. And I want to say this as parents, start your relationship with kids as early as possible. Not only when you are addressing the sexuality, any time is growing time, it's learning time. So that they can trust you. By the time you're in teenagehood, you are able to get into their world. They will hear and they have seen, some of them will have seen even the videos from the social network. But then it is your responsibility to clarify and tell them, by the way, when it will come to this, sex is X, Y, Z. Sex is where you sleep with a man and this is what happens when a penis actually goes through the vagina. You don't actually assume. Because whatever you try to assume with them, they will get and clarify. Yeah. A parent, don't tell children, you need to be a buyer. Wow. You know very well, it is not a biambaya. Mm -hmm. It is a biambaya. You can't tell But yeah. you need to set boundaries. Yeah, that's yes. true. And, and Rose, you thank you. You need to set boundaries. Yes, we, it's a race against time, yes. Rose. Thank you so much for that insight. Truly appreciate. But again, guys, triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. we got to take a very short commercial break. Are you talking to your kids about sex education? Do let us know. We'll be right back. Welcome back Mpenzim Tazamaji. Now if you are in a limbo and you don't know what school to choose just because you want to go to school and get educated and do everything that you want to do, guess what? I have a suggestion for you. Kips Technical College July intake is ongoing. So call 0799-031-490 or visit www.kips.ac.ke to register. We have diploma, certificate and artisan courses in hospitality, tourism, engineering, business, journalism and media studies, ICT, hairdressing and beauty, which is cosmetology, also development studies, health and applied sciences, and also foreign languages. So many things to choose from, man. So do we have any feedback from our Facebook page? Yes, so on Facebook, okay, I'm going to talk about the topic of academia, by the way. I'm going to talk to Kenya Kabo, and I'm Waleo, mko um, fine kushilo meniweza. Santi, watu wa Nairobi aki zile masubaru nimeziona pale gaf, eh? Zenye nimeona on Nairobi na kuru haiwe na wasichana wa wenyewe. Akacheka. Na WRC haijanza mkuje muone ya kina Sebastian. Sijuyo ni nani? Ako naibasha. KWS Training Institute mko welcomed. Salimini my girlfriend wa maitha penye yako. Na watch niki wa naibasha. So we are doing my debut yake yuko. Manze. Okay. Dixon pia nasema ndiona ingia um, kwa hauli muru road pale mudaiga kuna jam kuruka. But finally niko kejani tune in from Kiamba Gadanga. I'm seeing um, Sinta Waidara nasema hello girls. You look good enjoying the show from naibasha karibuni basha. I'm seeing Jennifer Karetune and Sema looking gorgeous, uh, looking pretty girls. Kush, I love your reasoning, Asanti. Kuiwa Mwiruri and Sema looking good girls. Kwanza kwa kanyuleka Kush, thank you. Becky William and Sema watching from Isiolo. I love you, ladies. I'm seeing um, Racha Josena Sema, mark me present. Nak City Hadi Tamati Lanette. La, uh, uh, 
la net loud and clear basha loading lazima tufike huko tukiwa na Joyce I'm seeing Essie <laughs> William anasema hello beautiful ladies watching you from Kayole today you look amazing na wapenda sana na pia anaitwa nani Tanara Mutano anasema hey beautiful ladies show iko lit na wapenda sana na Jane na kuona Thank you very much. So, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, on our oh, SMS, SMS says, yeah. mm -hmm. yes, on triple one, triple four, triple one. That's our SMS line. Moja Nasema, hi ladies. This is Shiro from Kerugura, Ker Kerugoya. Sorry, I'm massacring your place. You people look great. Kush, I love that hair looking good. Nana, I need such a jacket. Nakapoa sana. I love you so much. Always make my day. Thank you so much for that. Please end our Instagram, Facebook. Utaona nimeeka hapo. But just in case, nikaka empire, nikaka clothing. She from Twala says, lots of love to you guys. Plus, Nana, una Nikil na hizo jackets asante sana. Hi Kish, Kush, you are always my crushy. Joyce, my bestie and Nana, my favorite. I'm Dixon from Moranga and the show is cool. Please greet, greet my best friend called Ian. Ian umesalimiwa kabisa na Dixon. Uh, hello girls, looking good as always about sex education. My dad talks to me about that and for me it's opening my mind and I'm proud of him. I get to learn a lot. Manze, kudos to that dad because that that is a conversation that was not welcomed a lot in our African setting. But to see a dad do that, man, congratulations to him and keep listening to them. But again, we have a guest in studio, so you know what time it is. <laughs>